I think I think I might have sent somebody one twice. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome. I am your humble host, Gavin Gavin the Kitty, owner of Gavin Dra the Gavin Dragon YouTube channel. This is my first stream back after uh, MC Motor City Furcon, and uh, I brought a friend with me. Hey yo, this is Stereo. Uh, you might have to scoot a little closer. Oh, my bad. <laughs> hey, yo, this is Stereo. Yeah, um, we're playing Paper Mario. She's, she's with me on the mic, so, uh, do bear with me. But hello, Maxi7k, you have arrived, cute drawings, thanks. Carmix says, ah, uh, Carmix says, you're late. I know I'm late. Sorry, Discord <laughs> notifications are weird. Yeah, I know. Um, but they're not, uh... Audience, you are not late. I am late. This stream was meant to happen at 3. Um, the problem was uh, we had some things happen over the past oh, couple know. days. Uh, to say the least, um, from one bullshit thing to another bullshit thing, uh, let's just say I did a couple of good things and a couple of other things, and now... I've got people in my house. <laughs> I've got people in my walls. <laughs> I'm in your walls. <laughs> ah, what are you doing to my walls? I don't know. It's kind of cozy in here. You're just gonna curl up and take a nap like Paper Mario? Yeah. You just slide on in there like zoonk. I'm just gonna <laughs> curl up in a ball. That was everybody in chat doing today. I hope they're do I hope you're doing alright. Um, no, nobody is late other than me. They're in the gad dang wells. <laughs> They're in the dang wells. So, <laughs> we, uh, just got the partner of, Co uh, of Cooper here, and that allows us to do this. Um, so this is the original Paper Mario on N64. We started this last part. We walked around, did some stuff. Uh, I showed off this little secret. When you walk around the post, if you make this thing dizzy, it just shoots out hearts. Oh, that's a good way to heal. It is. Um, it's not everywhere, though, just here. Um, there's all sorts of little secrets. Uh, Karmic says they're EP. Maxi says they're doing fine. Well, it's it's good to see that people are doing at least okay. I know I was learning the, the secrets of Paper Mario Sticker Stars. Uh, so, this is very different from Sticker Star. Oh, I know. It's probably one of the, the originals. Yeah, this is the first one, believe it or not. Uh, so, the mechanics here are less like Sticker Star and more like uh, a traditional RPG. We've, uh, we've got special moves that we can do that require, uh, like, power from our flower meter. We've got HP. We've got level ups. Uh, and most of all, we don't have to stick stickers anywhere. The paper, <laughs> the paper is just an aesthetic choice to make it feel like a, a cute cardboard cutout. Um, later games make uh, have a better reason for this, but not this one. This one's just it cute. So we're doing. I'm not gonna lie, sticker stars are the later ones. I don't know if you know this, but they seem kind of fun. Most so. Um, in regards to Sticker Star, um, it was actually almost finished when they had to restart development. Oh, that fucking sucks. Um, so they had to restart development because this was around the time when Miyamoto was kind of hearsay, do as Miyamoto says or your game isn't going to ship sort of mentality, which hurt a lot of the games at the time. Um, so, they had this game, and it was basically, like, Thousand Year Door with its own story and stuff. The, it was mostly the same story, but the mechanics were all, like, this game here. Like, in terms of combat. So, then the stickers were just part of, um, overworld traversal. And some special moves and stuff. However, Miyamoto said it was too much like Thousand Year Door, and... Uh, from just that one comment alone, instead of determining that it was, you know, good enough, they were... The, the director said, alright, we're going to rework the entire game to fit what Miyamoto would do. And 
them doing that ruined the RPG mechanics and turned a lot of the older fans away from uh, Sticker Star. And then Color Splash was like, okay, we're gonna fix some of this. Oh, I'm gonna say something about Color Splash. There was a lot of fucking glitches for the DS game. Oh, Sticker Star is the one on the 3DS. Uh, Color Splash is on Wii. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot Color Splash is on Wii. Um, but I had Color Splash when I was playing it. There was a lot of goddamn glitches. I don't know about most of the glitches, but I'm sure I can I'll... explain some of them. Sure, like, if you want to. One um, of the glitches I experienced with Color Splash was like. Or you mean Sticker Star? No, Color Splash. You played it on the Wii U? I played Color Splash. I don't know where, but I know it was Color Splash because you, you had to fill in the colors. Um, I was in one of the areas, was about ready to grab, I think it was a star, and like it glitched out so bad it sent me down. Oh. That's interesting. See, because I have I have all of the Paper Marios. Uh, I am most of the I got most of the way through uh, Sticker Star before stopping. But um, Color Splash, I got about halfway through with the game because that game is really really long, and I stopped playing. And then I restarted because a friend of mine was like, "Hey, you want to play some Paper Mario? You got the Wii U hooked up, and I heard there was one on there." I'm like, "Yeah, it's all right." Yeah, Color Splash. I have, a, I actually have a Wii U. I'm gonna get it fixed. Uh, Color Splash. Oh, what's wrong with it? If you don't mind me asking. It's a disc drive. Oh, I can fix that. I fixed that before, actually. Because I would love to keep my Wii U, and I can't use it unless I get the disc drive fixed. Yeah, I, I, uh, I've got my own Wii U here at the house. I take very good care of it. Um, what happened was my sister dropped and it broke the disc drive. So oh I yeah, we can. I can get that. I got her a new one. I just kept it around. I didn't want to sell it. So if I get this fixed, I can have it. Uh, hello, El Ray, and hello, Foxono. Welcome. Uh, El Ray says, Ret The Return of the King. <clears throat> so, Stereo, I've got a question for you yeah. about, um, about Paper Mario. Did you get to play Origami King? No, I wanted to, but I didn't have the money, because Ray went at home and all of those were coming out. Um, that's what I wanted to do. Ah, okay. Um, be sure to speak up, by the way. The mic oh, is... Oh, sorry. I kind of <laughs> leaned back. That was my bad. No, you're fine. It's just... Like I said, uh, when I went to get all the other ones, like the ones I wanted that I didn't have and stuff, uh, unfortunately, when it happened, I uh, lost my job, so I couldn't get what I wanted. Sadly. But I did want the Origami King. The Origami King is actually had a good story to it. I liked it. I wanted to, I, I still have to finish it. I, I'm most of the way through with it, but it's, um, it's, it's one of those games where it's like, all right, I've got it started. When am I finishing it? No clue. Because <laughs> every time, like, I get a little bit more progress, it, oh, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 would come out. Or, oh, uh, here's, uh, here's Mario Maker 2, uh, 2 update. Oh, here's, um, there's a lot yeah. of games I wasn't able to get yet. I can probably list them later. I erased a lot of stories. I mean, you've s you've seen my collect my insane collection. Oh so. no, I wanted a collection for myself, like because I just like video games. I have a big collection. Some of them are kind of at my house. Um, I will hopefully be going to get those. Don't know when or how, but uh, hopefully at some point I will learn this. There's so much. Of Stressful, but at least replaceable, at the very least. I mean, yeah, but like... It'd be a Nintendo shame, you'd lose Switch. some... You'd lose progress. My Nintendo Switch and most of my Switch games and all my controllers for my PlayStation and Xbox. Have you, have you seen the amount of wacky, insane controllers I have? No, I have not. That, that bin down there is just Nintendo. Over to the left is Xbox and everything else. Damn. Yeah. Um, some well, some would say I have a, a slight problem. Okay, I will say this. I have this one Xbox controller that I can't use anymore. It's a wired controller. Because I accidentally gave the cord away. And I didn't know that it had a specific shape to it. Ah. So I can't use it now. Yeah, I've got I've got an extra, but I don't think I'm. It's a mic. It was a Minecraft Xbox controller, and it had a specific shape to the fucking corded system. And I'm like, now I can't just buy a new cord and try to put it in there. 
So... I have no idea how to pronounce that. The... Buen Viejo the King? I think I said that right. If I didn't, I apologize. Buen... I can't read it. Hold on. Buen... Let me... Buen... Viejo... Viejo? Buen Viejo the King, I think. Or I'm just speaking gibberish. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to pronounce it the way I see it. Oh, I think they're calling it already the old king. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Dang. Don't worry yourself. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Don't be starting things in my chat, guys. But it is good to see that everybody is doing okay, at least. Um... I think I'm gonna use the dried shroom on Mario. So in this game, the one thing that makes this very much different than uh, any other of, uh, or at least any of the other paper games with these mechanics, is the fact that only Mario can use items. Not gonna lie, I grew up on like Mario and Sonic because I remember the first game I ever started playing was probably Sonic DX because. My mom had a GameCube, and I'm like, hey mom, can I play this? And she's like, yeah. I actually, it took me a bit. I was able to, like, beat Knuckles and one other character, Tails, for the game. And then as I grew older, I started being able to beat the other characters storylines. I thought it was really neat. And then later on, I found out if I beat all the characters storylines, you could unlock Golden Sonic. And I was like, damn. But I ended up figuring that out later. Yeah, I, uh, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite, it, it's, I think, now my second favorite, just because I've, I've, my, my tastes in gaming have changed a little bit. Um, my, fa well, my favorite to second favorite Sonic game is Sonic Adventure. So, I... I love Sonic Adventure. We played it for the channel in two parts, and, like, nobody showed up for it, and everybody showed up for Sonic Adventure 2. And I was just like, dang, this is a shame. I wish I knew you were playing it. I had a lot going on at the time, so I didn't... I... Um, I, I actually wasn't a part of any of the groups at the time. Oh, man, my bad. Yeah, no, this was before I knew anybody. Um, I, I was still working, um... I, I was still working at, like, Tim Hortons and stuff. Uh, and it wasn't until after Tim Hortons that I, uh, that I had met Sammy and whatnot. Like, I, I knew Blue, but... I don't know when I met everyone. I know shortly after I turned 18, I started building my fursuits. And then once I got styluses 1.0 done, I started going to Percons. Or at least I went to Colossal Con because I begged my roommates. I'm like, can I please, please, please go? Uh... I think no one would sh show up if you did Sonic Forces, lol. Actually, I did Sonic Forces, and I ranted the entire time, and the video did not do super great. I'm thinking about redoing that stream, just because it, well, it did, sure, it did turn out so poorly. Um, but, um, I, I mean, you know. You don't know who Karma is yet, do you? Um, no, but I think I've heard the name. Yeah, whenever ults are called Karma, uh, she's like, kind of just basically get hung on. Uh, she's also an overlord, but I, I, uh, played Sonic Forces, and that's where I kind of built her. And <laughs> she just became a character after that. So there's a badge in there. So I, I, I just want to let everybody know we're, we're, we got six people watching us right now, but only two likes, so if you're enjoying what you're watching... Drop a like and subscribe. I think this is my one shell out for today, or at least until we get like a ton more viewers. But uh, once again, sorry for such a late stream. I'm also sorry to my bud Rick, because I said I'd watch his The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom stuff on Twitch, and I am busy with this stuff, which is a shame. But, uh, uh, love my friends, but dang. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, your this stuff. The other the other stuff we had to take care of today was far more important than watching a silly uh, a silly stream. 
So the thing about bombs are you don't want to jump on them when they're about to explode. You only want to use the hammer on them when they're to that point. Because if not, you'll get damage. I don't think any of the other Paper Mario games work like that, though. I don't think so, either. Uh, so it's, it, it's something that's just unique to this one. Um, which makes sense. There's a lot of me weird mechanics that are just unique to this game. Though, since we are in the Paper Mario topic, I do have to say, there was a lot of freaking crap with sticker stars. I know, I remember I spent several nights trying to freaking beat sticker stars and dying countless times, like crying so they have to restart. <laughs> uh, uh, was... I don't remember how many nights I freaking spent. But, uh, there was also, I loved, like, freaking just, like, beating the boss in two seconds because I could go figure out where all the good stickers are, use them immediately, and the boss would just be so die. I like that they fixed that for Color Splash, but darn is it is it cathartic to just be like, oh yeah, and the boss is gone. Oh yeah, and the boss is gone now. <laughs> I actually like that part. It's kind of funny. It always made me laugh. I'm just like, hmm. Well, yeah. The ball's dead now. Uh, if you could, real quick, did you think you can catch up on chat? I don't. Uh, I usually have my co-host check out chat and read it. Say, if you'd like, I can put it on. Oh yeah. Give me, give me something I can read it on. Yeah, I think that that'll that'll work much much better. I grabbed my. This is the hardest part, is finding where I'm streaming, because while YouTube shows up for you guys, for me, I gotta go to the channel page and fight it. <clears throat> Don't mind any weird notifications you get. I can't control what people send me. Uh, the weird name? Uh... No, uh, okay. so the last thing we uh, did was uh, I... Don't blame yourself for the sins of that game. Uh, L races. I love Sonic Forces. Maybe not for the reasons the game wants me to. Yeah. And then just, just read from there. I got. I'm gonna continue. My favorite thing about Sonic these... Forces is the meme of <coughs> infinite slander. Well, yes. Uh, we we did. Um, I'm not weak. Uh, when we did Sonic Frontiers, one of the memes that came up was. Uh, oh, and Sonic goes next. Uh, for silver, it was it's no use, and so can you. <laughs> it's no use, and so can you. And imp and for infinite, we decided it would be, be for the best if if it was. Um, I'm not weak, and so can not you. I'm uh, infinite. The character, by the way, uh, of course. Yeah. Infinite's just gone, by the way. If yeah, you if. Gone. If you, re I've got the uh, Sonic Encyclopedia, and it just lists that Infinite is just like gone after that game. Dang. Like he's not coming back. There is no way. Um, Sonic Forces, uh, like if they made a game based off of every preteen written Sonic fan, <laughs> minus the you know and not the family friendly stuff. I mean, hell yeah. Uh, maybe. <laughs> but I will say, I will say, for as much as, um, for as much strangeness comes out of the Sonic fan base on a oh pretty, God. pretty regular basis. I mean, Shadow, y'all. <laughs> uh, speaking of Shadow, uh, it's, it's, did you know that it's the year of Shadow? Ah, you guys told me that. Um, yeah. Um, actually kind of they're doing, like, a huge thing. promotional thing. Like, Sonic Generations has got the uh, Sonic Generations Cross Shadow coming out later this year, and then they've got the Sonic th Movie 3, which is based on Adventure 2. So, there's yeah. all sorts of stuff happening. I just realized I have messed up here slightly. So, one of the things that we're going to try to do is try to get all of the tattles for the game. Um, I, I should mention, between this and, um, between this and uh, Thousand Year Door, they're probably the two hardest Paper Mario games. Yeah. Especially this one. I think this is harder than uh, Thousand Year Door. Just because they, you have less opportunity to heal. Yeah. 
doesn't make it a bad game. It's just it's no. really difficult to like be like, oh yes, and then there was this game. Um. Yeah, I I'm trying to think about Paper Mario y stuff to talk about, but my brain is on Sonic now. Uh, you want to go get tacos? I, if I could speak, you gotta go get tacos, Maxi. Uh, hope the tacos are good. We had tacos earlier today. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Oh man. <laughs> Every year is the year of shadow. Oh, hell yep. yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, why not? Every year can be the year of shadow. It just this one in particular because we got the Sonic movie three Shadow and oh my gosh I can't wait I can't wait maybe I should tell my IHOP story <laughs> no no hold on I screamed at the end of the second Sonic movie when I saw Shadow I was like <gasps> so we saw the second uh, Sonic movie with Blue yeah um, and at the end of the movie we stuck around for the credits. And a kid in the back of the back of the auditorium just went, "Is that Sonic EXE?" To which all three of us collectively rolled our eyes. Uh, I think I went to see Sonic Two with my family. I can't remember. And then one of my friends showed up, and I wasn't expecting him to show up. And I was like, hey. "I saw Sonic One a day before it was supposed to come out, too, as well. Uh, that was my Valentine's Day gift." Uh, we, we were driving home from work and we said, we don't want to go back home. Let's, uh, watch Sonic. Came home super late and got yelled at. But you know what? I enjoyed Sonic so much, it didn't matter. You know what? I'm sorry. I have to apologize. I realized I lied to you about my birthday. It's not the next day. The next day? Oh, that's fine. That's it fine. Matter. Other... Hey, chat. Wish, wish Stereo a happy early birthday. Maria, eat IHOP. Maria, eat IHOP, yeah. Alright, so I, let's get to my IHOP story. By the way, it has nothing to do with Shadow, but everything to do with Sonic. So, as you guys know, I'm a huge Sonic nerd, and I, I love the series, like, a ton. One of the things that is important to me is getting all the DLC for a game, right? Especially if it's mostly, like, free content. One of the things that that they're doing is an IHOP promotion where they'll give you a Amy outfit for uh, for buying enough IHOP. So we, uh, me, me, Karmic, and Casey went out to the uh, IHOP as a, on our way to Michigan for MCFC, and we're just like, all right, we're ordering IHOP just to get an outfit. We're never gonna eat here again. But the food was so killer, we kind of went. Eh, we might be back, but now we have the Amy outfit for Sonic Superstars. Oh. I, I, this is the only reason I went to IHOP. Just to get a costume. Thank you, Alray. You didn't have to. <laughs> e. E. E, e, e. E, e, e. So, one of these bombs is not like the other. I mean, a few of them are not like the other. But I, I get what you mean. So these are all traitors, according to the uh, according to the Koopa Gang. They're not going along with Bowser's silly idea of kidnap the castle and keep the princess hostage. Um, and I kind of see why. It's a very silly plan. <laughs> yeah, I guess without proper context, you would think it was a real outfit, but it. it... Yeah, I was like for it's, a video game. It's it's in the game itself. I need. Uh, I mean, if you guys want to see it, I if they do more updates for Sonic Superstars, I will be happy that more than happy to show it off, because last time we pl since last time we played, they added a shadow outfit and they added um. We're gonna save save often, guys. If you haven't saved, if you haven't played this game before, there's no auto save, so save often. And I don't believe... Oh, there are. We're going to create a suspend point. I'm going to save state now, like, a lot. Because why not? Um, but yeah, we're... Um, like, they, since last time we played Super Star, it's like they added a shadow outfit for Sonic. Which is not what you think. Your, your immediate thought is like, oh, it's a shadow skin over top of... No, it's literally Sonic in a shadow outfit. 
dang. It's hilarious. Bro really said. Said, uh, I could do it better. I could do it better. Forget you, Shadow. I'd wear it better. We're gonna attempt to get these guys to fall asleep. Now I'm considering going to IHOP for Shadow Pancakes. No. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't even order any of the Sonic, uh, Sonic themed food. We just ordered normal food. I mean, I don't like, normally like pancakes, but like, if it's made right, I can go for some fun. Hell yeah. Oh boy. Uh, hello, Zeke! Hiya, Zeke. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. I see we have a new ho new host. Yes, we have Stereo here. Yo, it's Stereo. Um. Okay, head bonk this. Sorry. No, that's now, also, as far as the audience is concerned, uh, it's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> No, I just went to the uh, gym and I'm willing to ruin it for chocolate. I have made hell yeah, some chocolate. No, I want some chocolate more. You know, I've got pancake batter. I'm weird. Okay, I'm very weird about how pancakes are made. I'm like, I'll try the Well, you can, you can, like, mix the ratios however you want. The last time I made something with pancake mix, though, I, um, uh, I, I essentially made a gigantic cake <laughs> and just was like, all right, this is my day. All right, so this is definitely a trap, but we have to do the trap or else we can't continue. I like how they just sort of suspended in there, like funny cartoon animation. Who, ha who in the chat has been enjoying the thumbnail, the themed thumbnails? This was an idea I got from one of the Mega Man groups I'm in. They were like, why don't you draw your character for every thumbnail? And at the time I was like, oh, I don't have the time for that because of how often I stream. And now I'm like, you know, I don't stream as often as I used to. I guess let's take some time to up the production value. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna be honest, that bob looks less like a bob and like more like a fairy. Now, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm of a bomb. Bob on. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's saying they love the thumbnails. Thanks, guys. Also, I love chocolate pancakes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> the pancakes and the thumbnails. So <laughs> now we're mix chocolate pancakes and thumbnails. Maybe we can you. Bombette has joined our party. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I'm just dying casually over here. Same. Don't worry about it. When am I not dying? Uh, so should we talk about MCFC and how it went? My MCFC was crap. I mean, if you want to talk about it, I don't mind, but. Uh, yours was probably better than mine. Mine was mine was fairly good. The only there was there was only one bad thing about it, and even then I can't really complain because at least it happened. Yeah. At least at least part of it happened. Um, drink some water. I've got a little bit of water here. Um, but we ran. I ran around a lot. I met a lot of different people. Um, one of those people being birds. Oh, I know birds. The, 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 the really big TikTok star. Um, I wasn't expecting them to be so nice. Yeah, they are really nice. Um, we got them on for two shorts. Believe it or not. I've like two, three times now. I just wasn't expecting them to be like, oh, hell yeah, let's do it. I'm like, they were so excited. Like when I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm a YouTuber and this and that. And they were like, oh, really? I want to see your stuff. I, I just wish I would have got a picture with the bamboo slash panda duchy. I saw them and I forgot to get a picture with them. Uh, I was also really busy because I was busy. And 
Fireboy Studios, everyone! Oh, um, maybe maybe we should mention Amboy Studios, should we? I mean, we can. Um, so, I don't know yet how it's gonna go, but it's, it's looking like I may be a part of Ampwave Studios for making suits and art and stuff, so. That's... I mean, you're always welcome to do whatever you need. Like I said, the channels are open, you can post whatever. And I, I mean, I'm down for it. I'm absolutely excited for it. I, t to say the least, to be given the opportunity to, to work on suits and stuff and be like, know exactly like, oh yeah, it'll be promoted and this and that. That, uh, that excites me. Yeah. Like, oh, we're one star point away from leveling up. Um, but no, I just, I usually don't have any to do all that so the fact that it's it's possible I'm like oh let's do it because um, for those who don't know I struggle to sell my art half the time I'm just bad at promoting it um, I feel so which I do a lot of promotion like I said I promote to the uh, art channels and other things and hey oh mountain man and uh, whatever else is going on like I said, if you build up an ad, I'll post them anywhere. Also, you can always post art. I think we've been losing people from the channel because of the uh, depression break I took. Sadly, it happens, but I, I mean, it. hey, hey, it happens. I I took a I took a break uh, last month from just like I just slowed my content roll down, and we ended up not. We didn't. I want to say we lost people, but we also didn't like lose lose people, like. Our numbers did not go up nor down. They stayed a flat line, but it, like, was very turbulent. I mean, I did an art raffle for hitting 50 on my one channel, but unfortunately everybody decided after the art raffle was over, art raffle, can I speak? Art raffle was over, they were all gonna leave the channel. So I'm, like, down to a few people that's, like, less. So I'm not going to do another raffle if we hit 50 again, because I felt like I was cheated out of that. Yeah, art, so, art raffles are weird. Um, also, hi, Mountain Man. Sorry, I didn't say hi. Um, I, I know you did, but... But, no, I, um... Art raffles are awkward, because... I... I did a raffle before. Um, I had one person enter it. I wanted to do, like, another at some point in time. I haven't ever gotten around to it. But art raffles are weird, because I see people, like follow and like and send this around and in a week we'll give a winner and then I watch that number fly high for this person and then dip right back down yeah that's exactly what happened to me and I don't even and know it, because what you gotta because to keep that as a sustainable practice you've gotta constantly be doing new raffles oh we were going to I said uh, we were going to have a raffle at 100 and 150 50, 200, 250. I said if we ever reached 250, I'd do a fursuit raffle again. But nobody ever like wants to stay in the channel. They all see channel raffle join <clears throat> the Suze raffle is over to leave channel. And I always thought that was so stupid. It's and the, I I don't really understand it either. I'm like if you're going to join a channel, I know just it's stay not, in the channel. Yeah. I'm not, not, you can mute it if you don't. The frick happened to the bomb! Bombette is going crazy. I saw that. She just started spazzing. Shit. Uh, Elray says they did a good job with their commissions. Uh, I'm glad that you like them, Elray. Um, honestly, uh, I love doing art for people. I enjoy it. Some of the requests we get is art odd, but I don't mind them. But, um, especially the odd requests. I love, I love getting some of the stranger requests from people. But like some of the some of the time it's like all right <laughs> this just does not work and um, other times you know it works out great sometimes uh, other times it's like yeah no I've only had a few people say they want a commission and don't want a commission but most everyone that wants a commission gets a commission I've and then I've had them. way too many I've, I've had I I've had it to the point where like there was somebody like a while back who was just like. I want to commission you, and I said, I'll be open in three days, chill, and they were like, I can wait, and then uh, it came time, and they were just, I can't wait, I already got someone to do it for free, even though I just, that's 
Even though I did the I did the line art for them and everything, and I was just you could have told me sooner. Yeah, like that's not fair to anyone else. So I should say that there is there is a problem with the Switch Online version of this game. These menus, they don't lag like this on real hardware. No, it's sad. Um, okay, so it's not that. I don't remember how to switch. There we go. It's C to the right. Dick move. Yeah, I was, I was upset. I, I literally was like, thanks. That's how I pay my bills. Uh, cool. It was like a $50 commission. I was like, sweet, I'll have some money in the bank. Um, and it was like a weird commission. It was like a weird commission. I'm like, that's fine. It's weird. It's kinky. It, it, it can work. I can do it. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. And I know there's very few artists out there that would, that would go that, that strange. And I'm like, but you know what? I'm one of them. I mean... But uh, it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And I can't force it. I just wish they'd stop messaging me just random strange things. I don't mind it, but I'm like, okay, you, uh, what? Uh, Mountain Man says, you're good, just dropping by to say hello and to show I'm alive. Well, I'm glad you're alive, Mountain Man. If you're not alive, I'm going to be very concerned. I'm also going to tell you to become alive because you better. You better. I'm not seeing. Um, that's because you're on a slight delay, believe it or not. Alright. Um, Maxi says dick move. Yep, absolutely. I mean, I don't mind doing weird stuff at all. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's all up to artist preference on that. Depending on what it is, might, might make it more or less. So, like I said, I don't. Really I have a, I have a flat five dollar increase for not safe for work pieces because i don't like to oh my, my mine is like 20 or 15 increase i i only do five because i enjoy drawing not safe for work pieces it's a little tougher for me so like that's why and that's that's fine every artist has their differences and i think that's that's something else i don't have a lot of um alternate artists on i have no idea what was uh we thought you were consumed by the mountain man. Uh -oh. Sorry. I like to see who messages me, and it was just, it was just pastel going. All right, so uh, we're gonna up our flower point so we can do more special attacks. Oh, we got a mushroom. That'll be useful. Um, where is my brain at? Where is my thoughts at? I don't know where they're at. I mean, I can say I haven't had a lot of art be canceled, but I have had... had I, I'm sure you've had a lot of suits be canceled. Yes. Okay. Because I, I don't I don't know why exactly. Um, I guess my thought process with when it comes to a suit is different from some pe other people's. My thought process when suit commissions are, are a thing are... Give them as much time as they need. Even if it's frustrating for you, give the time, because you want your suit done right. You don't want it done poorly or rushed. <clears throat> and cir circumstances are always ever-changing. I mean, I, I have now a blacklist code of buy from me now, because of that reason. Oh, wow. <coughs> we have had, okay, we've had so many via Blackhead. One of the things they actually did was uh, they were working on paying for their suit. They also bought some stickers. The stickers were going a little slower than normal because of everything that's been happening. And uh, I knew that. I remember three months in, I sent them my TOS and said, give me some time. And they, they, they even said, uh, yeah, I need time because sometimes there's a lot of life stuff happening. I was in between a lot of houses. It meant that I couldn't work on stuff all the time. Um, 
They said in response to it, oh, let me get my customer TOS. I'm like, uh, huh? The frick of a customer TOS? You either agree or disagree. Uh, getting on to something more, more positive, Elray seems to keep forgetting that this is an N64 game. Well, dang. I mean, I can believe it. Sometimes I look at this and I think it's PlayStation 1. But I also would love to see this running on a PS1. <laughs> Maxi said, how can you draw with one hand? I'm just kidding. How do I draw with one hand? I just do. Um, most art is done with one hand. That's Now that's why the background seems familiar, Maxi also said. Oh, what background? Oh, probably the N64 stuff. Oh, yeah, this is... I'm playing this on the Switch Online N64. Yeah. Um, there wasn't gonna be any other way that I was gonna play this, just because N64 emulation is annoying, and for as much as I love my Polymega, I don't own this game physically. I just don't. But I pay for Switch Online, so... Uh... Uh, actually, for us, it's not that long. Uh, I usually, unfortunately, the one was taking too long because, uh, I was in the houses. Normally, turnout pursuits are anywhere from a week to two weeks, if we're just talking heads. Sometimes I can get them better or faster if I'm just consistent uh, working on them. So, Nero, I got the commission in mid-January. New, They started paying for it at the end of that month. I had the head started in February, and it's almost done. Um, so March, I didn't have much. I I had to stop and get parts midway through. Um, but essentially, I had everything ready to go, and it at least started February. I had more work done on it in March. I had a majority of the work done on it in March, and we're now what in April? Yeah. So. And it's almost, it'll probably be done before the end of the month. And yeah. that, so that's, that's about my time scale on this stuff. But that's also because I have a lot of outside forces on me. <clears throat> These streams and, uh... We're also planning to work on stuff together a bit. So that'll, that'll probably change. The, the lead times will definitely change. I just know my turnouts usually are anywhere from a week to two weeks, depending on how much time I have and, like, much sanity. <laughs> sanity is the key in suit making. If you don't have a lot of sanity, you tend to uh, falter. Yeah, I, I don't work on suits unless I'm totally okay with everything. Yeah, I try to explain. That's why in my TOS it says give me time. I'm not working on it. I, uh, believe it or not, my, my terms of service, uh, I, my terms of service are very, is very simple. I don't, uh, I, I tend to give people, like, give me a month for your piece. If I'm not done with it by the end of the month, uh, then bother me about it. I shouldn't have forgotten, but I, I should at least have a good reason on why I haven't worked on it. I mean, I, th I think in my TOS it says... I also have a no refund policy. I do? That's, well, but, okay. But that's because I, uh, I've had, I had one person ask for a refund on a three dollar piece and the chargeback was nearly five dollars okay so here's the deal on my refunds i literally give them a month or unless they physically give me an answer saying i do not want a refund uh to say if they want a refund or not after that i cannot refund anything because a lot of it goes into materials and paying for bills uh, talking about fursuit stuff wearing a Paper Mario stream is very fitting because I guess we should talk about that. Fursuit, like, making is a, is an art is an art form in and of itself. It's uh, arts and crafts. Um, most costume making is. Um, and Paper Mario here is a pretty exemplary example of how a lot of the stuff looks. Like, it takes a little bit of paper craft, it takes a little bit of sewing uh 
they don't really get into sewing here, but I know in Origami King, I think there is a needle and thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I also, no, it was just Origami King. Uh, but um, I do believe uh, <coughs> you can go for a lot of materials uh, while making and uh, creating fursuits. I, yeah, I can tell you there's paper, there's duct tape, there's glue. Obviously, anything. And believe it or not, you actually go for a couple pairs of scissors while making fursuits. Because you not only do you need uh, uh, all that, you also need different scissors for like paper, different scissors for like fabric. Because the more you use everything, the more dull it gets. And sometimes it's just better to buy new scissors than to try to sharpen them. Because I swear the sharpeners don't work at all. They do, but they take forever. Oh my gosh, I do not wish to sit there forever. I'd just rather buy a new pair of scissors. I, um... I had a pair of scissors, and I thought, oh, these are nice. And then I was like, they're not nice at all. <laughs> Alright, I, I found at Walmart, which I'm very happy about, they have a ten pack of scissors. For like, I think it was like, maybe ten bucks? So, like, you get a pair of scissors for a dollar each. Hey, bad. So, I was thinking of every time I need to replace scissors, just keep buying the ten pack. I would like to get, my sister found me some gardening shears, and mm -hmm. they work so well on top of fabric. I tried when I used them. I'm like, where did you get these? I need to buy more. She's like, they were on sale. And I'm like, no! Because that means there's no more. Uh, so, we've got, uh, Maxi says they hate kamikaze enemies in game and RPGs. I feel that. The bullet bills here are annoying. Uh, because you won't get EXP if they just smack into you. Uh, and then, Max's paper, stickers, origami, wool. How many of these, how many games like these does Nintendo want? I want as many as possible. Kirby's Epic Yarn, Yoshi's Wooly World, Yoshi's Crafted World, Paper Mario. Oh, give me them all. Give me them all. I love this, uh, these art then styles. There, then there me. <laughs> Utility everything? Question <laughs> I think it's utility knife everything. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Mountain Man works on electrical equipment a lot. I mean, so. I can get there. I used to use razors to cut fur and stuff, but now I don't. Though I have to say, I, I apparently scared my sister really bad, because uh, she was helping cut me out of a duct tape dummy, and apparently she nicked my arm and got up the side of my arm. <clears throat> uh, my roomie thought I needed stitches. She started crying because she's like, I hurt you, I hurt you. I'm like, no, 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 it's okay, this happens. Sometimes you just nick somebody. I didn't even feel it. And she was still crying as she got me paper towels and some bandages. And I'm like, you don't have to cry, you're fine. <laughs> it happens. So... El Rey here says Nintendo should team up with the Arts and Crafts store, uh, Michaels, Michelle's, I don't know how to pronounce it. Michaels. Michaels. Um, believe it or not, Nintendo did team up with a sewing machine company in Japan. Really? Yeah, back during the Game Boy days, they made a sewing machine that had a Game Boy Link cable to it. And what? Yeah, and it had its own game, and you put the game in, and you could, lit it would literally crochet in a, um, a pattern from the Game Boy. You designed it in, and it would make it. Um, Sounds like Animal Crossing, almost. Kind of, but it was a real-life sewing machine. Because it makes sense that they did that for Animal Crossing, because Animal Crossing, you get to make your own designs for the clothes. They also made a knitting program for the uh, NES that taught people how to knit. That's cool, too. Uh, here, uh, here, yeah, it's, it's a singer. <laughs> Give me a second probably worth a lot of money now um it's quite a, it's quite expensive nowadays but there you go dang that's pretty cool as heck yeah uh and there were a couple of games that worked with it anything that you could print on the game boy printer you could crochet mountain man says accidents happen el ray says video game history is so cool and i'm like hell yeah i love video game history it's why i do so um i mentioned last time that the koopas here are not based on the Ninja Turtles, they're based on the Power Rangers. They get into a giant Bowser mech. <laughs> that is, uh, 
made out of uh, wood and cardboard, so it seems. You said you got emulators for stuff, right? Yeah, I do. I'd love to do a game one time on one of the Fossil Fighters. The, the, the original Fossil Fighters made me laugh. I don't know if you've ever seen Jaden Animation's video on it. I have not. Oh my god, I forgot to watch that real quick. It made me laugh so hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't watch a lot of... Um, I, I don't watch a lot of other YouTubers that do, like, story time stuff anymore. I used to when I was oh my God. when I was bored, but now that I, you know, because a part of what I do is also storytelling. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> I'd love to do some storytelling, funny videos on stuff like that. I love false lighters and stories. I, I remember, I remember laughing at the second game because apparently I didn't even know there was a first game. My friend gave it to me. And then, uh... What system is it for, by the way? I don't know. I think the first tier for DS. I'm not sure. I gotta look it up again. But I'm pretty sure you can find an emulator for it. Oh, I'm sure I could. Remember when Nintendo made games that was literally Bowser... It's kidnapping the Yoshi to knit a castle? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That was, uh... Or the arm <laughs> That's 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 Wooly World. I uh, we're we're gonna play Wooly World on the channel. Don't worry. I uh, I have the Wii U version, so it'll look nice for everybody. Uh, me trying to freaking understand. <laughs> uh, they they kidnapped all the Yoshi's, but all the Yoshi's were made out of wool, so they all become wool and they knit them into the castle. Dang. And you gotta save the Yoshi's by beating the stages. Rose really said, let's uh, get on all fours. <laughs> uh, so I shouldn't have switched. <laughs> I should have kept out Gumbaria. Dang. Ooh, okay. I've got maybe two more hits with these guys, because if not, I'm going to... <laughs> So the remix here is um, uh, actually a remix of the original Mario Bros. Uh, track. Uh, okay, yeah, I've only got one more thing through this. If I... It's like when they, like, oh, they're robots. We can be as brutal as we want. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of moments like that. Alright, I'm gonna try hammer. Good, we knocked him over. Is it just me or does it look like they're having seizures? Just a little bit. <laughs> because I need the FP. I don't have any healing items, so I really hope I can... So, unlike in uh, later Paper Mario games, do you want to know what they do? That moment right there, it literally just... Nope. It'll game over you and you have to go back to your last save point to redo all of that. This game becomes, like, incredibly brutal if you're not prepared for it. And we got things like Michael Bay's Transformers or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series with uh, the Krang or something. Five.
handle I can handle them one at a time. But I don't think I can handle them uh, more than that. I just gotta play perfectly for a little while. Are you winning, Gavin? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank God. Can't wait till we can raise the power level of the. Okay. Uh, create suspend point. One of them can get up, the other one needs to stay down. Sorry for going quiet, chat. This is like focus mode. I mean, I'm not playing and I'm even focusing on the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of those, oh shit, what's gonna happen? Alright, there's another one for the books. Now all I gotta do is focus on bonking them. So they patched up the jail cell, but they didn't, um, <laughs> they didn't think that they were going to end up down there. Dang. Luckily, uh, that was the end of the chapter, so if I would have just been able to go for one hour more yesterday, I could have beaten chapter the prologue and chapter one in one go. I won the Super Bowl. I did not win the Super Bowl. Did Gavin won the Super Bowl. That's Taylor Swift. Uh, <laughs> we at least won Chapter 1, which is good enough for me. Um, I think I did miss a couple of things there, a couple of secrets. But we can go back to this area at any point in time now, which is good. Because... You don't want to miss secrets in this game because you can. You need to level up. Like you need to get stronger. Uh, but now here's one of the most defining moments of Paper Mario: the fact that you can play as Peach for sections. Um, the the sections in Thousand Year Door are much more fun, but uh, these ones aren't bad either. Gavin won the sport ball game challenge? Question mark. Maybe just a little bit, Liam. But how you doing, Liam? <laughs> Uh, I, did. I did not win the Super Bowl. That's Taylor Swift, XD. What happens if you lose? G <laughs> game over. Game over. Game over, yeah. Game over, yeah. Got that Daytona spirit going on. Well, I am Stereo, your personal DJ. Uh... 
Oh, I should mention, uh, so we had some questions about commissions in my, uh, Discord, about whether I do body or headshots. I can do from the waist up, I can do full body badges, it does not bother me. Uh, but there are 45, it's a flat rate. It, you'd have to have a very complex character for me to raise that rate. I do as well, I also have a little bit of my own style as well, too. Yeah. But... I do have examples if anyone would ever like to see. Taylor Swift sounds like pretty fast gal. <laughs> Taylor Swift is like po the Pokemon move. Swift, she never misses. <laughs> never, never, only slightly. What do I think of Kirby 64? Um, it sure is. Um, if you want my honest opinion. I'm not gonna lie to you, the <laughs> music right here sort of reminds me of, like, the rooms in Kirby Epic Yarn. Like, the music that they had in the room. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's the same composer, but... It sort of sounds like it. I'm not going to, like, immediately say it is, but, like, it sort of sounds like it. Um, but as for Kirby 64, I like Kirby 64. It's not a bad game. Um, I think, I don't know, it's a kind of a tie between that, like, Kirby 64 is slow, right? But, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3 is basically the same game without, uh, uh without the mechanic. <laughs> Taylor Swift never misses, she only misters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are silly. <laughs> So here we get to see all the back rooms of the castle. Can you hand me one of those uh, paper towels? Yeah, we'll do. I've had to keep blowing my nose. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Oh, no? Oh, I actually pressed something. I wasn't paying attention, but I, I, oh. I fixed it. Bam. Where have we been going? Uh, we've been going an hour and five minutes. Dang. Yeah, this game is being rather slow today. No, it makes sense. I kind of figured it might be a rather slowish sort of game. Ordinarily, I'd go for three or four hours, but uh, we gotta make dinner soon. So... Yeah, I was about to say, I'm getting kind of hungry. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Isn't she the one who takes pl a plane to the Karate Blossom Road? <laughs> I love that my chat is just running with the fact that I said Taylor Swift one time. It's just, Whoa. Taylor Swift be like, I'm going, I'm going down to the corner store. Is, it's in here. <laughs> Alright, here's a question. Is Bowser a Swifty? I thought so. I thought something. I wonder where idea of this game came from someone had thought wow this does look good on paper wow this sure <laughs> does uh, man audience applause <laughs> loved it. yeah um so the concept for this actually came from pop-up books believe it or not one of the uh game's <laughs> directors uh had an idea for a uh a storybook style game when they were reading a uh, fairy tale for uh, like a pop-up book for their younger child um, and was like wow we could do this with Mario we could make an RPG out of it they already wanted to make an RPG I liked I explained <coughs> back in part one that I don't think that this is much of a sequel to Mario RPG but uh, how it was called Mario RPG 2 because they just got done working on RPG 1 during development I think uh, because in Japan it's called um, Mar uh, Mario Story, and in the States it's just called Paper Mario. So this is the refresh. This is our first star ability for the game. Um, star hat most <laughs> Yep. Anyway, um, so we've entered dad joke mode. I see Taylor Swift brain rot or brain fungus rot hive mind. 
Do your worst, Slash Fist. Uh, I can only imagine Bowser playing Swift Cool Summer for an hour straight while eating ice cream. <laughs> Bowser is my Swifty. He likes Cyrus. Oh no, he likes Miley, Miley Cyrus. Oh no. You know what? I, 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 okay, here's a question. He, what if Bowser only likes Hannah Montana? No! no. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. Bowser would like Jack Black. <laughs> Bowser would totally be into Jack Black. <laughs> Freddy's! Peaches? It's peaches. Peaches. Peaches, peaches, peaches. No, no, no. With peaches. a kind of phrase, it's FNAF at Freddy's. <laughs> Bowser uh, likes Shakira? It's. <laughs> <laughs> I've had. Uh... I mean, my hips. My, uh, Any hips don't lie? My hips don't lie. <laughs> Bowser voice. No fighting. <laughs> I go, huh? What did you type Z? Tenacious D is the clear answer. <laughs> that, that's Jack Black's band. <laughs> so, from this uh, moment here, now we have two party members. We've got Cooper and we've got uh, Bobette. And we can now get back over to the Star Hill to begin Chapter 2. So we could start that right now. Uh, what is this sneaky um, music I'm hearing? I feel like a clown. Well, if it makes you feel any better, we have a clown Sona. Uh, you have a clown Sona. I have a clown sister. Uh, oh, clown. no, no. No, I have a clown sister. I was gonna say, when I say we, uh, we use we pronouns to refer to all our adults. Sorry, I, I I do some I do sometimes, but it for the sake of stopping people from asking me more questions, and I really feel comfortable answering. Eh, <laughs> I just gotta go. He. Gavin, who's your favorite pop diva? <laughs> My you favorite know? pop diva. You know, I'm gonna be perfectly honest and say, I don't know. <laughs> because I don't think I have one. They said if you don't know, just uh, don't have one, say Gwen Stefani. You know what? No, I actually do. I uh, Believe it or not, I actually do like Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Gwen Stacy, did she break me? <laughs> no, not Stacy. Gwen Stefani. Uh, of no doubt, um... Uh, spider webs. Um, I'm just a girl. That one's a fun song too. Uh, Once again, I th th believe it or not, Gwen Stefani. Yeah, you know what? I'll give you that one, Gwen Stefani. I use noob nouns. I don't know how to get good. <laughs> I mean, we do kind of clown around. <laughs> Y'all oh, make me laugh. Uh, oh, I wish fun. I had. I wish I had a constellation here. He does have a squeaker in his nose, like a clown. Uh, we've got a squeaker in, in one of our boxes over there, but... Yeah. Okay. That's in the other room. Ordinarily, I'd go for an extra hour, but I don't know if we're going to. No, I don't... Uh, yeah, there's, I mean, there's no way. I mean, if we've... If we had eaten, like beforehand beforehand i'd say yeah, yeah. i mean if this was gonna if this was supposed to happen when it was put honestly i don't know how i would be able to make the stream happen with how we originally had it also there was a lot of stress going on so we're probably just all tired out i was honestly i was fully expecting okay i'm gonna stream at three o'clock it's gonna go till about six it's gonna get interrupted about four times and i'm not gonna be happy about it yeah. And instead, stream is happening at 8, almost 9, and there's no interruptions. So I don't know which is better. Up to you guys. All I know is next week we should be able to continue, no problem. Four in the morning is best song. Uh, four in the morning is Gwen's best song in her solo career. Hella good. 
is the best No Doubt song. To declario don comedia translate. I declare, I I declare you, Mr. Comedy. Not Mr. Comedy. Sorry, I can't say. Uh, you declare me, Mr. Comedy. My I mean, sleep schedule is so broken. I know when I finally fly home, I will be up for a while. I mean, I feel you. I came home from a lot of the cons. I'm pretty sure we. I. You know what's weird? I've come back from this convention and been like, oh yeah, now I'm up at 7 in the morning doing some work and stuff. I've got energy. I don't know what happened, but my, sleep, sca my sleep schedule is just weirdly fixed. Mine's kind of fixed after all the, the bull that happened, but I feel a lot better. I'm just, I'm just glad it's over. Oh, sorry about it. Uh, and Casey started her new job, and that's been going well, and there's all sorts of really good stuff right now. No, I think all the only thing I need to do is get an actual wheelchair again, so that when I go to get my disability, we got that going. We can get there. We will get there. I, my counselors may sound like they might be searching for one because they asked me how much it cost and what, how, I, how I was going to go about getting it. I told them everything of how much it cost. It was like 130 to like 200 for the best wheelchair. I just have it. Like a foldable one like you had before. Yeah. They, normally, they normally are foldable though. I can't believe they snagged that by the way. I promised to give it to them so I just gave it to them. Uh, it's the same thing. I didn't want to be the person that said, you can have it, and then be like, I need it. Yeah. You don't, you don't ever want to do that, but at the same time, sometimes. Sometimes. So apparently our attacks are now useless. Which I, I ain't no holla back, girl. <coughs> I ain't gonna want this one back, girl. I ain't gonna let this one back, girl. You can keep it. <laughs> Should have used Cell Toss here. So, uh, Thousand Year Door implements the idea that you can also uh, do counter attacks instead of just guarding. Even though they're a lot harder to do than just guarding, they're more risky as well. Here we just have guarding, so use it sparingly. Oh, I should probably also change party members into. Little egg dude. Yep, more little egg dude. He doesn't show up in any other games, by the way. I really want him to- I, I hope he makes a small appearance in the Thousand Year Door remake. For no other purpose than I think it'd be really fun. I think I have brain rot my brain fucking <laughs> not here anymore. Once I get to a set stopping point, we're going to- we're, I'm gonna... Yeah, uh, I think I need some food. I'm gonna go hang out with Bubble and then I'll probably eat Um... Yeah, making some dinner for everybody. Why not? What are we having? What did you want to make? I have no clue yet. <laughs> That's okay. I never know what I want to eat or make food. I mean, just like kind of look through the covers and then I find something else. I mean, we just got a bunch of groceries. I mean, yeah, we can make something really good. When, Ru when Ruben died in Minecraft story mode, and I said yummy. <laughs> That, is, that sure was a thought, Solveon. <laughs> I don't know what kind of thought that was, but that you sure was. Have a good night. I gotta get up at five tomorrow. Uh, have a good night, Mountain Man. Good night, Mountain Man. Uh, alright. Oh, dang it. A starter died in my. <laughs> I don't even. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't really. I don't usually play Minecraft story mode. It costs money. I don't play Minecraft.
I mean, I played Minecraft, but I don't play the story mode because it costs money. I mean, I played a little bit, but I didn't, like... I didn't know what I was doing half the time in that game, so... Alright. I shouldn't have pooped them in their food, bro. <laughs> Dang. Bro said, mm. become food. Become food. Uh, if you were to write slash draw a history, what setting would I choose? Um, what do you mean? Like, like write slash draw, like, like, a moment in history? My last joke... My last... Oh, freaking arrow stuff getting my way. My yep. last joke only works somewhat if you're somewhat familiar with American Idol winners. Okay. Um... I want to answer that first question real fast. If I had to write, like, a real portion of history, it would have to be, like, like sci-fi, modern, fantasy, dark fantasy. Oh, yeah, if I had to, I would I would definitely write sci-fi. Um, but if I had to write something more realistic, I'd write western. Uh, and if I had to write something slightly less realistic, I would do my own take on the story of King Arthur of the Round, uh, and the Knights of the Round. Um... Uh, with a mixture oh, of Beowulf. Yeah. That is that is just my own personal take. Because I love going back to ancient history and seeing what's up. Your YouTube crashed. I can't see the thing anymore. <laughs> uh, it does that sometimes. Not as often as what you'd think, but... <clears throat> so we just opened up the bad shop. And multi bounds. D down pass. Disables an enemy's defense. Let's mar- uh, first attack. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with the first strike. We're gonna get the multi-bounce. Arthur versus Beowulf just in cinemas. Not- not a versus tale, but a tale combining the mythos of the two. You know, because Beowulf takes place before even the times of King Arthur. Um, so, the way I would handle it is that King Arthur would come far later in the story, but his mythos would be based more, more or less on the times of things that happened in Beowulf, things that happened long, long ago before, you know, England was unified and this and that. Because that's all, that's all the tale of King Arthur is, is that... It's meant to be a story that things work better when everybody's working together, and that the, the the island of Great Britain and all of the British Isles need to work together to, you know, exist, or else it'll fall apart into chaos. Um, and that's all the story is. It's, it's just a tale being like, hey, you guys gotta work together or else it ain't gonna work. I'm gonna go eat some something. Take care, guys. All right, have some, have fun, El Rey. We're probably going to too. And got back in the Transformers. I like Tarn now. Uh, Sylveon, don't even get me started on Transformers. I have this weird thing for robots. Let's say Vox is hella hot, and so are some other characters. Okay. Uh, Beowulf is overrated. Yeah. Before you say anything, yes, I was forced to read <laughs> I had a I had a fantastic English teacher my senior year of high school and we did some wonderful reading on the histories of, of, of those stories so instead of me actually being forced to read it it was more or less like we're gonna read a couple passages but more importantly we're going to learn about the historical significance of this book on top of what is actually being said in this story rather than the story itself um it wasn't meant to be like super dumbed down or anything it was just more so here's a book it's part of it um we actually did have to read it but only as much as as the teacher wanted to he wasn't a super huge fan of it either i just really liked the fact that it was a, a tale so old that it showed a, uh, uh, a semblance of human that was so close to what we have now, and yet so far away of what we had then. And I think Paper Mario is the perfect time to talk about this stuff, because it is literally a Mario game that takes place in a storybook. I don't have many opportunities that are like, yes, we can talk about books, and 
I don't like to read, but I have a lot of stories I, I really enjoy. Dang, the chat's blowing up now. I know, right? Right as I'm about to... Yeah. Usually, you know, we'd go for an extra half hour or something, but we I am actually tired. I just finished we're, it. We're both tired. Yeah. We're hungry, we're tired. We just want to eat, do whatever we gotta do last, and go to bed. Oh, so. boy. Yeah, I'm sorry, folks. Um... But thanks, Brewer Bomb, th uh, especially Grendel, one of my favorites. Ca uh, claustrophobic fight, yep. Uh, Sylvan says, and every fourth teacher is now. Tail so old it showed her age. Oh my gosh. Dang. All right. Well, I'm sorry to, to have to do this, folks, but if you've, you haven't seen the rest of the stream, go, go back and watch it. But uh, today's stream is a little shorter. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at GavinDragonYT and also on Blue Sky. You can donate to the PayPal link on your screen or in the description below. We've got a Discord down there. It is new, so if you haven't, if you were in the old Discord and haven't been getting uh, notifications in a little while, guess what? New Discord. Go check it out. Um, we also have a Telegram art uh, group down there where I post all of my artwork. Uh, but more importantly, I've got videos. we got another short coming out Friday. This one's going to have a special guest should be a fun time for all but if you enjoyed today's stream drop a like subscribe i've been your humble host good night everybody good night